Reports have indicated that India and Russia have finalized a major deal for manufacturing AK-47-203 rifles in India during Defense Minister Rajnath Singh's ongoing visit here, the official Russian media reported on Thursday. The AK-47-203 is the latest and most advanced version of the AK-47 rifle. It will replace the Indian small arm system 5.56 by 46 mm assault rifle. The Indian Army has a requirement for around 770,000 AK-47-203 rifles, of which 100,000 will be imported and the rest will be manufactured in India. The rifles will be manufactured in India as part of the joint venture Indo-Russian Rifles Private Limited IRRPL, established between the Ordnance Factory Board OFB, the Kalishnikov Concern and Rosoboron Export. The cost per rifle is expected to be around 1,100 US dollars, including the cost of technology transfer and of setting up the manufacturing unit. In another massive show of force aimed at Russia, US Air Force B-52H Stratofortress bombers flew from the United Kingdom to Ukraine airspace. After arriving there, they flew for an extended period at the edge of the Russian-occupied Crimean Peninsula. This comes a week after a Russian Su-27 flanker fighter jet performed a potentially dangerous maneuver in front of another B-52H flying over the Black Sea. In recent times, US and Russia have been flexing muscles and carrying out tit-for-tat military maneuvers. For this mission, the B-52s leveraged its combat range, which is more than 8,800 miles or 14,080 kilometers without aerial refueling. Viewers may note that the powerful engines also enable B-52 to carry up to 70,000 pounds or 32,000 kilograms of weapons. The B-52 is capable of carrying both conventional as well as nuclear weapons. Apart from the ability to drop bombs, B-52 can carry land attack cruise missiles. This video is sponsored by War Thunder. If you are, like us, fascinated by military vehicles and technology, I recommend you give War Thunder a try. It's a military vehicle combat game which you can download and play for free on PC, PlayStation 4 and Xbox One with cross-platform support. It has a huge variety of more than 1,200 playable aircraft, tanks, helicopters and ships from the 1930s to the 1990s, which you can take to battle on land, in the air and at sea on more than 80 theaters of war. War Thunder has been kind enough to offer All Defense Updates viewers a special bonus, which will grant you a free premium tank, aircraft or ship and three days of premium account time for registering using our link in the description below. So take the plunge and join more than 20 million players from around the world. Taiwan has denied claims that it shot down a Chinese PLA Air Force plane this week. The Taiwanese Minister of Defense said in a statement, the Air Force Command has refuted reports of shooting down Su-35. The information is false and completely untrue. The service strongly condemns this malicious act by deliberately creating and disseminating false information on the internet in an attempt to confuse the audience. Speculation began after a video of a burning warplane was shared on Twitter, leading many to believe a PLAAF Su-35 had been downed after flying into Taiwanese airspace. The MOD stated, the Air Force Command emphasized that in order to maintain airspace security, it will continue to closely monitor the conditions of the sea and airspace around the Taiwan Strait and provide the correct information in a timely manner to prevent the spread of fake and false news, to avoid social unrest and appeals to people to rest assured. Of late, China's aggressive posturing against Taiwan has increased tensions in the region and many believe that China could initiate a military action to take over Taiwan. During Rim of the Pacific RIMPAC, International Naval Exercises off Hawaii, USS Durham LKA-114 was sunk, 
which was used as a live target. Three anti-ship missiles were used and are most likely to have been the RGM-84 Harpoon. The USS Durham was named after Durham, North Carolina and laid down at Newport News in Virginia on January 1, 1969. It was extensively involved in the Vietnam War and served in the evacuation of Saigon. The Durham served during the Persian Gulf War as part of one of the largest amphibious task forces since the Korean War. Eventually, the Durham was decommissioned in February of 1994. The sinking of real warships is designed to validate the effectiveness of the anti-ship missile. Reports indicate that Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has privately green-lighted the sale of American F-35 fighter jets to the United Arab Emirates, despite repeated assertions that he is against the deal. The deal also includes Reaper drone and Electronic Warfare EA-18G Growler jets. These assets have the ability to reduce Israel's military advantage against UAE especially the F-35 fighter jets, which the UAE has wanted to purchase for several years. Viewers may note that Washington had always sought Israel's approval for these kinds of sales, as it is committed to maintaining Israel's military edge in the region. The move comes after a recent announcement that the UAE is normalizing ties with Israel. The Israel-United Arab Emirates Peace Agreement, or the Abraham Accord, was agreed to by Israel and the United Arab Emirates on August 13, 2020. The mine countermeasures ship USS Ardent MCM-12 has been decommissioned after a ceremony at Naval Base San Diego August 20th. The vessel has served for more than 26 years. Due to public health and safety restrictions of large public events related to the novel coronavirus COVID-19 pandemic, Plank owners and former crew members of the Avenger-class ship virtually celebrated its distinguished history. The first Ardent SP-680 was built as a commercial fishing steamer by the Greenport Basin and Construction Company at Greenport on Long Island, New York in 1902. The U.S. Navy purchased her on June 11, 1917 to be used as a section patrol boat and minesweeper during World War I. She was commissioned on August 15, 1917 as USS Ardent. Viewers may note that going forward, literal combat ships are expected to carry out minesweeping with specialized modules. The first flight of Northrop Grumman B-21 Raider Long Range Strike Bomber LRSB, will be slightly delayed. The U.S. Air Force USAF, is now expecting the first flight to take place no earlier than 2022 against the late 2021 timeframe the service previously predicted. The B-21 Raider is envisaged to be a super stealthy bomber which will be able to penetrate the most sophisticated air defenses for decades into the future and be able to take out high-value enemy targets without the rival even knowing it was there in the first place. The bomber will have a very long range and high payload capacity to carry conventional and nuclear weapons. B-21 is expected to replace the Air Force's aging fleets of B-1, B-2 and B-52 strategic bombers which have an average age of 27 years. President Trump has stated that he is willing to help India and China resolve the border row. Mr. Trump said, While we are at it, we are talking about China and India. They are going at it pretty good on the border, as you know. It has been very nasty, he added, and we stand ready to help with respect to China and India. If we can do anything, we would love to get involved and help, and we are talking to both countries about that. The comments come amid renewed tension between India and China over what the Indian government called new attempts by Beijing to change the status quo in specific areas in eastern Ladakh. 
Indian Defense Minister Rajnath Singh met his Chinese counterpart in Moscow late Friday on the sidelines of a three-day summit in the first high-level contact of its kind since the border standoff escalated. Both the countries have moved troops closer to the border region and the Indian Army chief has visited the forward areas. He stated that the situation along the contested Line of Actual Control (LAC) was delicate and serious. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.